total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at vault Tech have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Today, we will focus on strength. In the wasteland, essential supplies will be scarce. When an item of value is found, keep it close and away from bullies. The stronger you are, the more you can carry. Be sure to know your limits, or you may find it challenging to escape from hazardous scenarios, no matter how strong you are. There are other situations where you may find yourself in close proximity to unfriendly neighbors. For such cases, you must learn to defend yourself using your natural strength. Use anything sharp or sturdy enough to swing. Get creative with your implement, but stay reasonable and look for anything that can further enhance your innate vigor. The greater your strength, the greater the impact. But remember, some moments require more than muscle. In this chapter, we focus on perception. It is the unfortunate truth that when you go above ground, you will be faced with many post-nuclear nuisances. These frightening menaces will come in all different shapes and sizes and pose an immediate threat to your survival. You must learn to deal with these dangers, but may find this challenging at first. That's why we've provided you with the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, so you can scan the threat and pinpoint areas of weakness. And the higher your perception, the more accurate you will be. Why, you'll put Davy Crockett to shame. There may be times when you must engage in questionable activities. <clears throat> your perception can help keep you safe during these morally ambiguous moments. Practice your pilfering on youths the elderly, or the incapacitated. As you continue to purloin your way to success, try more challenging targets and more skillful techniques for greater returns. Don't get too cocky there, sport. Our topic today is endurance. We will all be faced with many new and unfamiliar health risks, such as infection, sudden loss of limb, and above all, harmful radiation. Fortunately, your formidable endurance has turned your body into a hardworking machine that can resist the harmful effects of radiation and physical violence. Like any machine, then, your body must be well-maintained to stay in tip-top shape. While average Joes will survive on old packaged standbys, your iron-clad insides will allow you to seek fresh meat. Radiation poisoning may have enlarged your favorite meals. This means more healthful nutrition for you. Take caution not to bite off more than you can chew. Endurance can also provide new options for food, some of which can be an acquired taste. Gone are the days of exercising for fun. Instead, you will need to combine athletics with crucial survival activities. The greater your endurance, the further you can go. Okay, okay. Look at y'all go. Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh. Start that up. Pharaoh Dermot, what's going on, y'all? Appreciate you on that mod shit, Dermot. With the shout out. Uh Pharaoh, how are you, bro? I wanted to uh I wanted to send you this link to Pharaoh when you get a sec if you could um follow the Twitter and the YouTube there. 
through that website. That's the production company we just uh, launched the other day, man. We're trying to get this uh, social media shit off the ground while we are about to send out a package to distributors for streaming platforms like Tubi, some of the smaller ones like that. So we're trying to get our, uh, our social media presence up a little bit before we send that out. Dermot, I saw you on there too. Thank you, bro. Uh, yeah, it's good today, y'all. I just uh, I wanted to announce that last night we joined the official uh, community stream team called Fallout for Hope. So it used to be uh, a stream team that was like kind of had to apply to get in and they would like select a few people but they sort of disbanded that because I think Bethesda is making an official stream team of their own so this community one is now open to the public and they started uh, accepting people in for who, who do uh, charity streams for St. Jude in December we were kind of talking about it once uh, we met Chad Fallout 76 podcast he put us on to uh, all the charity work that the Fallout community does so now we're officially a part of that community team it's called Fallout for Hope uh, I wanted to take uh, the first few minutes kind of going through and uh, looking at their website so we could learn a little bit more about uh, what they do. Lou, what's going on? Thanks for coming in, everybody. We're just gonna run some Fallout for a couple hours today, sort of making this big announcement here uh, for December. This will be the charity that we run in December. So this is the falloutforhope.com page. Uh, war never changes, but hope, hope can save a life. So this is in partnership with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Uh, the Follow for Hope charity initiative and its websites are not affiliated with Bethesda. This is uh, sort of like a, a private independent thing. Um, and so I think anybody who streams Fallout regularly can join this thing. You said about to order supper and watch a spooky movie. Okay, what, what movie are we thinking? Very fun. Yeah, I know. I was just plugging, uh, I was just plugging my short film, Lou, that... Uh, that we just put the the teaser out for there's a 30 second teaser that we put up so uh any love on the socials if you can follow the twitter and the youtube that helps a lot like and comment on the videos if you feel like it too it can go a long way at this stage y'all uh so let's see i kind of want to look because i haven't done too much i have to this weekend sort of look more into uh what i have to do now that i'm a part of this fallout for hope thing uh, in terms of setting up the charity, I know they work with Tiltify, I think is the uh, the name of the charity website they work with. The movie is called Hide and Seek. Uh, I think I've heard of that. Not on Disney Plus, really? Oh wow, I've definitely heard of that. I have to check it out. Appreciate you, Pharaoh. As always, man. Uh, so let me see what this says. Do you stream on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook? Follow for Hope brings together hundreds and hundreds of streamers all over the globe to support worthy charities uh, such as St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. We'd love for you to join us. So there you, you can sign up right there. Uh, each year we partner directly with charitable organizations and Tiltify. Tiltify is the only safe and secure processor who works directly with organizations like St. Jude. So that's why they're not going through like Kickstarter or other things like that you've heard of. Follow for Hope is fueled by giveaways that help to build excitement in the fandom, drive donations, and help get word out about our charity drives. In the past, we've seen uh, we've been supported by companies such as Noble Chairs with Fallout merchandise. Cool. So I think that's more for if you own a business that wants to sponsor. Uh, this is the about. It was born in 2020. Fallout for Hope. So this is only the. I guess this is the second year that they've done this. Uh, after the follow community mobilized to help individuals in the community struggling through tragedy and hardship We could help one person. What if a global community of follow gamers streamers and content creators mobilized for one cause? That's very inspiring and they said they've uh, Over raised over a hundred and forty thousand within that year, too, which is unbelievable uh, So yeah, lots of volunteers 86 countries over 20,000 people have donated so this is this is what uh, Now what I'm trying to get our community involved in too to help these numbers grow And we're just gonna get to mingle with everybody who's involved in here uh, So let me put this website up in the chat real quick. So if y'all want to visit this you can check it out 
Let's see, so the fundraiser is 56 days away, it looks like. Yeah, 56 days away. Oh, here's a, I think they have an advertisement for it too. Let's watch this. Hold on, let me turn off some of these uh, background noises we got going on. A real dream has come true. For this benefit premiere launches a drive. Sorry if that was loud, everybody. by the film star, Danny Thomas, here arriving with his family. Years ago, Danny vowed he'd build a hospital if he ever became famous. $32,000 are subscribed. The first of a million, Danny Thomas tells friends he'll raise for the St. Jude's Hospital of his dreams. They oh, said interesting. it couldn't be done. They said that it was a task which would break my heart. They said it was impossible. Wow. Man, their and their graphics, very moment, designers are on point. In the city of Memphis, Tennessee, there is being constructed a hospital in the form of a star. Look at that. There it is, in concrete, glass, and steel, to offer help to all the children of the world, regardless of race, creed, or economic status. Oh, this is so cool. You and I have vowed that we will do everything in our power, spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially, wow. to bring about the defeat of these catastrophic diseases. December 14th to the 20th, everybody. That's us. Oh, this is awesome. Yo, shout out to whoever does their graphics and videos. Hey, I need to, I need to get in touch. <laughs> I need to get in touch for the, the production company. Maybe we'll get a, a crazy logo going. That their uh, their graphics designers are incredible. So this looks amazing. Um, it looks like yeah. This I don't know. Maybe that's a picture from last year. One of the events they did. Act of goodness. That's ours. All the good we've done. That's ours and ours alone. Nick Valentine. Fallout Four. Very cool. Oh, I love this. So everybody, check this website out if you can. This is the Fallout for Hope website. Uh, we just joined the community stream team, so as you saw in December, we'll be participating in their events and uh, charity drives that they do across Twitch. Uh, this is so great. So I'm going to spend some time on this website over the weekend as well, and when I come back on Monday, we'll talk a little bit more uh, about kind of what we'll have to do looking forward to that. This is amazing. Yeah, and ev anyone who streams Fallout regularly can enroll as well. So. Feel free to do that, everybody. Here we go. Appreciate everyone being here right now, hanging out. Woo! Okay, well, I guess, uh, I guess we'll just start with our dailies. I know there's a new Fallout world called High Risk that we could try out, but uh, we may wait till after the dailies for that. Thanks again to everyone lurking right now, hanging out. I've just been pretty much uh, talking that website the last few days. I've just been sending that website link to everybody who I know for uh, be good friends. So I'm going to be dropping that a lot too. I'm trying to get our social media following up for this production company. Okay. You know how the volume mix sounds, or, or at least if there's any issues with the audio, let me know. They, uh, I just bought the Halloween pack. 
they just put out all their Halloween uh, build content. And I sort of accidentally bought it, but I think I was going to buy it anyway. I'm not too upset. Alright, let's start these dailies up. CGM download failed. What is I'll probably just have to restart the game. For an update. Look everybody, appreciate y'all lurking out today, watching the ads, you know it all goes to a good place. to the Crimson for the follow the other day. We're on the road to 425. I feel like I've listened to these songs a lot. I need to go deeper into this playlist here. I end up going to the same spot. Anybody wants to hop in this match, let me know too. We can run some dailies or hit some missions or something. Oh, somebody built in my camp spot. I knew this spot was uh, too good. Hack a terminal again, bro. I hate that mission. I never know where to do it. Prepare armor, weapons, or power armor. definitely do that. I just gotta switch lobbies. A little worried that I'm not gonna get through this scoreboard before the season's up. It's been a fun week just uh, trying to promote this little teaser we put out already. Like, it's not anything too crazy, but I feel like I'm sort of getting a little glimpse of what like marketing and advertisers have to go through. And it really is just a matter of contacting everyone you know who might be a little bit interested and in just throwing it out there. But it's fun knowing that like um, we're do we've done all this work kind of for a purpose. Like we're trying to get platforms to pick it up and stream it on their services, you know. So it's like I really do appreciate everyone's patience who who is going and watching these things, checking the links out. Uh, it really makes all the difference at this st early. It's an early stage, but things are gonna move quick. Like. Whether we get picked up by a streaming service or not with this short film, we're going to release it on Halloween. So at that point, I'll be pushing even harder everywhere. Just dropping the video everywhere. I can imagine probably annoying the hell out of people.
really liking our armor build right now. I got the vault tech paint going. One daily done. If I can get to like level 50, we might be okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm not going to get through this for sure, though. know if y'all saw the uh or if anybody's gonna get that back for blood the left for dead the the new left for dead thing that's coming out back for blood trying to see it said uh on my playstation's friends list that what did it say um 17 people on my friends list have already pre-ordered it so that's a decent amount See what else you can do here. It's gonna be a rough one. I missed that daily up. Build a floor or wall decoration in a workshop or camp. That. That's a thing. Oh, we might be able to get a level up by the end of the day. Need some more scary type stuff. Or decor. Oh, I got a duck. Boy duck. I gotta put this somewhere first. Put this right here. a rank so this is the scoreboard we got to get through uh one two i don't know we might get there not even halfway yet though it's gonna be tough I was about to say, okay, we didn't finish this one yet. I was about to say, I was like, I don't think that was five. That is the uh, nuclear winter pennant, one of the surprises from nuclear winter. The shit is hilarious, you can see somebody <laughs> in the edge of the picture, hold on. And just like freaking out in the fire. And I miss nuclear winter, it is sad. Oh, not the same. Go hit this tea time event. The easy one. Hello again, friends. I am so pleased to announce that yeah. the boilers here at the giant. 
There is other people. Oh, uh, level 600. Looks like this dude's gonna take everybody out. Got his spot up on the. You know you're good when you can get up there. That reminds me, somebody gave me the mutation so I can jump or like get high jump like that. I just haven't taken them yet. I haven't seen Select Rumor on here in a while. She's gonna help me. I hate these bugs so much. These are probably the most annoying enemy to me in the whole game. I should just my melees never hit them, bro. Gotta go heal. Fuck out of here. I have no bullets for anything. Ah, this Tesla gun's not doing any damage. Is it a level two gun? Oh shit, shaking. I, I can't deal with this right now. Charging Tesla shotgun damage 98. That's a lie. Maybe I gotta charge it better. Like, my shit did zero damage, bro. I can't deal with this shit. I feel so inferior to these level 600s. He's gotta be using a fixer or something. Gun you got. say this got to be over soon yay all right we'll go back to base here i 
I do want to try the new uh, Fallout World. It's called High Risk. Can't remember what the stipulations are exactly. Gotta get rid of this disease we picked up, probably from that mosquito stinging us a bunch. everyone lurking hanging out let me know what y'all got going on this weekend any cool plans okay what's next kill glowing creature that's gonna suck all right we do have to switch lobbies i gotta find a good daily op squad Creatures is gonna be find uh, uranium fever and or radiation rumble. Serpent black trying to level up is one. Other than that, going to head over to the crater, get storyline quests done. Well, welcome to the chat, Serpent Black. Appreciate you popping through. We got the cosplay going right now. Got the 76 suit on. Uh, Rep in Vault 76. Very cool. Um, you know, I normally, uh, so I normally stream this like Mondays and Fridays, and uh, I always run dailies. But I'm definitely gonna check out that new Fallout World after, after we get them done. Are you on? Uh, are you on PlayStation Serpent? I got this. Uh, I got this escape room. Uh, like gauntlet type thing I'm trying to test out too so I'm always looking for new uh, new players oh you on PC very nice I love this game just started you know what's funny dude I just started a few months ago as well like I've been a big fan of the franchise I'm sure you are as well um but I and I actually bought this game I pre-ordered this game and did not play it because I heard it was kind of rough and I only started playing it a few months ago, and uh, yeah, I couldn't be uh, couldn't be happier with it. I I started with a few friends, but they kind of fell out of it. Trying to get them back into. Damn, another full daily op squad. Let me look again. Besides the game. Got burned out. That's it. Yeah, you know what's sad, Serpent, is they had that Battle Royale mode a few months ago. Uh, the Nuclear Winter. And I met so many cool people through that as, the, as it was ending. I only got to play it for the last, like, three or four weeks. And then it's gone now, so... But I was fortunate. I got to meet some really cool people who uh, stream on Twitch as well. And so we were able to connect, but there's just nothing like that to get everybody back playing together like we had it. There was a, a day where there was a group of about 15 of us who all joined the same lobby and found each other on the map and just rode as a group and we all just wore our underwear so we knew who was on our team. So you just see like 15 people in their underwear taking over this map. <laughs> This shit was great. I got a video of it somewhere I meant to put out. <laughs> yeah, bro, the community is amazing. That's it, flat out. And uh, we just joined the Fallout for Hope uh, community stream team. And they're going to be doing charity stuff in December with St. Jude. So I'll be helping out with that too. It's amazing how much charity work the Fallout community does, bro. Yeah, there's a daily op squad here, but it's just one person. Oh, he is a level 700, though. On 
down. Where do you hack a terminal in this? I feel like I've done almost all of them. I have to do that off street. Figure it out. Look it up or something. Beat daily ops. More events. Box. Harvest some wild plants. I think I already harvested. Man, I'm so sick of these bugs over here. Oh, you can hear them. Alright, I'm just lobby hopping right now trying to find a, uh, a good daily op team. I've been able to get pretty lucky and find like a one or two or three people who are already. Uh, Serpent, does this game have mods on the PC? Are you into modding stuff at all? right here oh I hope they didn't just finish it oh I'm gonna have to turn off game chat real quick one sec y'all PS5 slick with that actually that might be on the this is my saloon this is my home. I got my <laughs> my gamer tag up there too. I will not use mods only for the fact I ruined my. Oh my god, I heard about that, bro. You know what? I'm worried now. I need to go check. Because I played Fallout 4 a lot. I put many hours in there, and most of it was spent building. But I can't remember if I ever went through and put the mods because there was always that warning of like. Hey, this could mess your game up or like you know that kind of thing so I was always hesitant but my sanctuary base was nuts I had a whole arcade like a multi-level arcade with a restaurant I had this uh, the vault pack where you could build vaults too and I had a crazy intricate one going um, I think uh, I, I need to schedule maybe after Halloween I'll start playing some of the older fallout games again Go back to those save files. I don't even know if I beat the story on them, to be honest. Just got caught up in building. Alright, well, I'm gonna go to this daily op and just stand there for a second and see if they join. Double XP daily op, too? Now, now I'm worried that if I go back and I put mods in there that all that shit will be on you know I'd never played a game before I was like man mods on the massive list yup there was so many just made the game turn into a big joke and just couldn't play it oh so you like crashed your shit <laughs> okay I got you um that's uh, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Was there no like uh, fail safe where you could take all that shit out and like reboot it from jump, you know? So then you could actually play it. <laughs> and it was just easy mode. That's fun though. Exactly. No. Yeah, that's true. Which, I mean, I guess that's sort of part of the fun of the game is the survival element, but you just want to run around blowing shit up, like, you could probably put some mods and it becomes almost like a Saints Row game, you know? 
Yes, sir, but that's true. Now I'm scared. If I go back to Fallout 4, what's going to happen? I'm going to have to check that out before I try to stream it. I need, I'm need. i trying to get the rest of this squad here. I feel like they just got out of the daily op. They joined late. Hack a terminal, kill a glowing creature. If there's a uranium fever event, I'm gonna have to. Kill 10 legendary enemies. I guess I could go and do that. Um, is there a... Oh, I was gonna say if there was that one where you have to kill those mongrel dogs and I could probably do that. Keep the people back on the feet over there. Yeah, I think I'm out of luck here. everyone lurking watching the ads what would you say serpent is your favorite fallout that bonus mean they go into uh, the operation oh sorry game game get closer to my microphone here there's so many guns in these games I don't even know what gun I would pick if, if that was the question I probably haven't even seen the best ones. Oh, it looks like this team's over here just ki probably killing uh, Death Claws. Okay, Dying Light is dope. Now, okay, I heard so many people talking about that game lately, but uh, is it the one that came out years ago that people are playing, or did they update it or something? I feel like I'm behind on something there. That's the zombie one, right? Because I played the fuck out of that when I first came out. It's like they they're afraid of like the blue the UV rays, so they're around the bases and stuff. I thought that was so cool. And then when it turns nighttime, it's super scary. Yeah, I have not played that in a while. That was a fun game. How was there not a sequel for that by now? <laughs> Alright, we got a daily op team. I'm going to make sure my perk cards are proper. Okay, so that's it. That's why people are getting ready for the second one. I love that. That game was awesome. Not doing a damn thing. 
Hello, shotgun. Are you gonna kill these things? Thank you. I need to move this thing over or something. lunch boxes. I really put all my rat away back in. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the follow, bro. Glad to have you on the squad. Uh, I do uh, lots of different giveaways and stuff too. There's a uh, here. Let me show you this. This is a uh, where is it? prize wheel right here it does cost like 10,000 channel points so it takes a while to be able to spin it but there's some fallout theme like stickers we got here one of the stickers some nuka cola caps and stuff. uh so for 10,000 channel points or three gifted subs you can spin the prize wheel uh and once you unlock two prizes you get the delivery one of the fun things i try to do like perpetually 24 7 on the stream uh and we just joined the fallout community stream team fallout for hope so we'll be working with them on uh charity initiatives uh this uh coming december really hype about that that's like dude, talking about the incredible community people i've met here man i don't know if i've met so many like caring people in it from a game before Fallout might take the cake. Even like uh, just running around the wasteland here when I first started playing this, I met so many people who would just drop me really good weapons and all kinds of different stuff because they knew I was just starting out. I want to get to that level where I could just do that for people. But I still have shitty guns and my gun level. Alright, that was probably way more right away than I think. Let's see. Oh, I'm slacking. Everybody's in the daily out besides me. Serpent, do you stream? Oh, they waited for me. That's a good squad right there. Yeah, I'll trust I'm not gonna be that helpful, but I'm here. Ready, they ready. Yeah, I could probably do a couple lunch boxes. Shit. Enter 
This is such a creepy place. That Mothman noise is terrible. She just rocked me, bro. Come on. Stop. Oh, they're fucking me up. That Mothman just evaporated me. Somebody got me. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm getting out of here. Oh, we're all split up. That's why. Ah! I got killed before, yep. Bad spot. Look at this thing. Got a pinball machine. No way. close to one of the teammates here. Best chance to stay alive. Like that, this dude just got killed. I'm not going. Oh, someone's chasing you, bro. Let's <laughs> chase him. Try melee on these. thing down oh hello where are you going <laughs> somebody just rocked this person ah uh, damn Daily's done here. Look at this. Got like four or five dailies. Maybe. Holy. Five minutes, 30 seconds. That was a speed run right there. Good, something good. 
Nothing, eh? Ball Lord Blood Eagles. We have the Crazy good. Ugh. Almost done with those. I think they just want to pack a terminal now. Nice work. Sensors indicate the problem spotters have been removed. Check in with me from time to time. I may have additional assignments for you to carry out. House at the lighthouse near Vault 76 has a level zero upstairs. Try this one. So somebody, there's a list I just found of different terminals that you can hack. Over and cover the whole map. Alien Forest Scout Armor Chest Peak. That's my chest peak right now. 71 and 71. I can probably... Uh. Future hack a terminal. Well, there's no good vents uh, beneath the uranium feet. Glowing creatures. However, I think we can go to this lighthouse right here. It said there's a terminal at the top. The house at the lighthouse. been over here a few times for this. Thanks everyone who's lurking too. I do have the legendary card on. It lets me hack stuff without having to. Uh, Roach just fell from the ceiling. I don't know. Uh, auto unlocks. The yeah, I don't know if that counts as a hack though. So let me. Switch this up. Okay, let's try this out. Chest. for that that was the eighth terminal we've hacked in the months we've been playing this i've only hacked eight terminals that's why i was struggling so much and there's a safe over here this doesn't have a damn thing good in it uh okay i'm gonna go take there's a bunch of lighthouse, uh, lighthouse soup offer.
pretty much just gonna hope that I'm gonna run a quick break um, and fill my water up, but I'm just gonna hope that a uranium fever event pops up. Next few minutes, we can run that. Yeah, so kill a glowing creature, that's all we really gotta do. We've got three days for these other ones. Definitely stand to kill some more legendaries. Nice. Let's see what's over here for the something worthwhile. Arne, what's good bro? Uh, yeah, so I'm planning, so this is the plan. I'm trying to get as much of a social media following as I can. So anybody who's watching right now or lurking, if you go to this link and go on the YouTube and Twitter, follow and just like and comment if you can, that's really going to help because we're trying to get distributors for smaller streaming platforms. You know it. Got the blue. How's it sound? Am I too close to it? I got some filters on this shit too, so let me know. But uh, yeah, so we're trying to get distributors to pick it up. So within the next couple weeks, we're gonna send it out to things like Tubi and those other little services, random ones. See if anybody wants to grab it. If we get a good response back, we'll let them decide when they wanna put it up. But if we decide not to go that route, then we go on YouTube on Halloween. And we just try to promote it everywhere we can as like a, a spooky kind of Halloween short. This guy, look at all the turrets this person set up. Oh, I got you. It comes in with the voice. Yeah, I still got to tweak a little bit. I thought I had it so you couldn't really hear that, but yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, let me go back to base. I'm gonna run a quick break. Just gotta run downstairs. Uh, when I come back, we're gonna try and get this last daily done. And then uh, check out the new Fallout world. But yeah, bro, Halloween at the latest. At the very latest. And I'm gonna watch the shorts that you put uh, this weekend. I haven't watched the full videos yet. I kind of wanted to spend some more time going through your stills, actually take my time looking at it. Um, Rational Fear, that sounds like a cool event. Help protect Beckham while he harvests honey. Might try that one out afterwards. Oh no, I'm definitely gonna bro, like, I, that's one of the things that, you know, going into the short film world, this is my first real attempt at it, but I need to know more about this more, like, how, how other people attempt it, you know what I mean? Like, this is pretty brand new to me, so, I need to start going to film festivals, watching more short films of all kinds, bro, uh, cause that's only gonna help me make mine in the long run too, so, um, Oh, I'm happy to see anything, you know? Uh, and I am working on another one, too. I'm writing, uh, writing a new one. But I don't know. It might be a little too ambitious, so we'll have to see. I did have uh, a local director who's gone out to L.A. and had some good success out there with his feature films. He's His name's uh, Gavin Michael Booth. He does... Uh, if you My look him up, so you could probably find some stuff about him. Gavin Booth, he does long shot films where the entire film is shot in one take. So like an hour and 20 minutes and you're watching the whole thing from beginning to end. The actor is having to experience the whole thing like it's theater. Um, so he does movies like that and he put one out last year that was really successful. 
and I showed him the teaser for this short film I just did and he said he wants to collaborate on something when he comes back to the city this year. I've known him since I was in high school. So it's cool to see him like go, blow up, do his thing. Coming back for a bit, might be able to work on him with something. So that's what I mean, bro. It's like, you never, you just gotta put your shit out there. You never know what can happen. Even if you're not fully satisfied with it or whatever, it's still good to have out there. Put it in the ether. It is uh, 9 minutes and 50 seconds. It's just under 10. I couldn't be happier with the runtime of it. The edit's really slick. Alright, let me, uh, I'm gonna run a quick break. I'm actually pretty hungry too. I might go make some toast or something while I'm down there. Uh, I'm gonna run an ad. Let me see. I got new ad videos up too, so it's less boring for y'all if you do decide to stick around. I'm gonna run the intro to uh, the very first Fallout game with that one again. Yeah, bro. Well, let's talk some more about it. Give me a quick sec here. Uh, so this will be the ad. This is the opening of the very first Fallout game. So if you've never seen it, go check it out. changes. The Romans waged war to gather slaves and wealth. Spain built an empire from its lust for gold and territory. Hitler shaped a battered Germany into an economic superpower. But war never changes. In the 21st century, war was still waged over the resources that could be acquired. Only this time, the spoils of war were also its weapons. Petroleum and uranium. For these resources, China would invade Alaska, the US would annex Canada, and the European Commonwealth would dissolve into quarreling, bickering nation states bent on controlling the last remaining resources on Earth. In 2077, the storm of World War had come again. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. And from the ashes of nuclear devastation, a new civilization would struggle to arise. A few were able to reach the relative safety of the large underground vaults. Your family was part of that group that entered Vault 13. Imprisoned safely behind the large vault door under a mountain of stone, a generation has lived without knowledge of the outside world. Life in the vault is about to change. Ah, 
You're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one. And the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? Growing, growing up. You're growing up. And other things are changing too. You know what that means. Pip Boy 3000. Part of your life. With Pip Boy, all life's answers are in sight. Pip Boy. Yeah, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out during those ads right there. You know, I always appreciate it. it. Helps the stream out, little by little. We're out here promoting our new short film and production company website, threegoodfriends.com. Appreciate everybody who's showing some love. I've literally been just every last person in my contacts so I'm sending this to. Trying to get all the support we can before uh, sending it off to uh, some distribution streamers. Streaming platform. Appreciate everybody being here. We're probably gonna play this for another half hour or so. Try and finish up these dailies. I made some toast. There's no events right now. Just taking it all in. Let's switch lobbies. Curious about like the algorithm on this game, what the uh, how events are placed and determined. If it's based off like how many event teams there are or what. are gonna help us.
looking for a uh, uranium fever or radiation rumble. I can't find it. I'm in a couple more lobbies. I'm gonna go try out all out. Fort Defiance one might have some. Is anyone playing that? Hmm. That's a good event too, but I don't think anyone's playing it. Yeah, there's no one in this lobby either. Sheesh. Might be a fuck on this daily, yo. to think what I should stream this weekend. I've got a few games. Might want to go scary. Might want to do Visage. This is the exact same lobby I was just in. Part of me wants to go back, uh, hook up the PS3, and uh, finish that Ratchet and Clank Kraken time play started. I think we were a decent way through that game. I still gotta play Rift Apart. I kind of felt like I should finish that first. You said beat demon souls, yo, you're gonna have to go to uh, Nick Stockwell, to uh, Stick Knockwell's stream for that, bro. He's the one that's been getting into Bloodborne and shit. I, those games will frustrate me to no end, bro. I couldn't do it to myself. He was at one of those parts in Bloodborne where you have to, like, fall down long, like, <laughs> fast pits, but, like, Try and land on platforms and shit while you're... Man, who created this? With the clunky jump jumping mechanics and stuff. We've beaten it a lot, eh? It must be one of those things like once you get it, like once you understand the scale of it, it's like easier to take on. Because to me, those games just... I don't know. That was your first platinum too, now that's really impressive. Maybe I'm putting too much pressure on myself with it. Alright, I give up. We'll see if Death Blossoms has glowing creatures. Cultists here, shit. It's a good opportunity, just make sure you watch your backs out there. Prepare to defend corpse flowers. Some tells me nobody else is gonna help out with. I'm gonna be 
honest, I don't even see the corpse flowers. Oh, it says there's three minutes for this. That's a. Oh yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna go try out this new Fallout world. Tired of waiting around. Holy God. Okay, so the thing with this is it says keep your guard up or lose it all. The point is there's no legendary mod effects. Player versus player rules, so you're meant to kill each other. You drop additional loot and fast travel is disabled. But free. See, look. <sighs> Fuck, man. I don't understand the point of this. So, you get your loot or whatever and you lose it if you die. Okay, so I go and grab everyone's loot. But then once the month is over, it's like, it's all gone. I don't get to have it in my main account. And like, also what's the point? I hate to say it, I just really, even with the last one, the fact that the stuff doesn't carry over, I just don't understand the point of playing these worlds. It's gonna be out for three months. It's like they're trying to do a player versus player world, but you took out your battle royale mode. All right, so we drop in with everything that we had, though. So we start with everything, but now I can just loot all my guns and shit if I die. So it's like. Okay, so that is the whole point. It's literally called high risk because now anybody who I come across here in the wasteland, like there's somebody right over there and over there, could probably kill me and take all my shit. And then I would basically be like <laughs> stuck in this game mode with nothing off rip. We go try and kill these level fives and tens over here just to <laughs> try and get the most out of this game mode here. A shitty pepper shaker. I got. Let me take out my fixer. I don't even have enough bullets on this to do anything. And I'm over encumbered. Let me not go start a war while I'm over encumbered. <laughs> but that's the moment. I'm just trying to understand the point. And it's hard when there's like nothing carries over and there's no progress saved it all erases at the end of the month how do i have 230 weight right now and there's no perks and my stash box is full this is a clusterfuck they need to up that stash box count Look at all these shitty rataways. I don't need all of these. Alright, well. Off rip, this game mode is pretty much unplayable because my <laughs> stash box is full and I'm over encumbered by like 40 extra points than I was in the normal game. Really just like. Fuck man, I hate to say it, but they just do, Bethesda never sticks the landing. Like you got all these ideas, and then you don't tweak shit enough to make it worth playing. Or even playable, sometimes. Well at least if I die, I won't be over encumbered anymore because I'll lose all my stuff. I can't even put anything away. Oh, it's so bad. So bad. All right. Um, I really got to just like either rock some buff out the whole time or something. Like, I don't fucking know what I'm supposed to do. Buff out. I'm still 24 oh, carry weight over. Now available. I don't think we can play this, y'all. We're literally, like, fucked. <laughs> Unless I can 
get rid of a bunch of like rataways and stuff I have, I'll just drop them. Drop like 70 of these. See so many stim packs. Drop like them. See if this does anything. Whoever comes over here is about to get real lucky if they need stim packs and rataways, that's for sure. Yeah, that cleared up like a hundred space right there, just too much stuff to sort through I'd almost like these fallout worlds I was expecting it to be a blank slate not that you come in with all your shit already what the fuck is that pepper shaker I just put in here I'm still over encumbered man gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be the moment of truth we're just going to uh, run over to these two players here and see if they try to engage oh maybe we can snipe at them they're shooting at the ghouls I do have an invisibility thing on guys are at the other end. I think they're on a team though for sure. Oh they're over here. The music is nice and now I'm seeing the I'm seeing the appeal to this a bit because the closer I get to these guys the more nervous I get because if they kill me they're just gonna get all my shit. Now here's the qu oh shit now they're red? Are they fighting each other? Here's the question. Do I try to be friendly? Or do I try to kill them? It's like, what's the rules? I mean, at some point, they're going to try to kill me and take all my stuff for sure. So I may as well give them the opportunity. Wait a minute, they disappeared. Oh, bro, they got scared. I think they saw me coming up and they left. Because there's no way to go off the map like that. I should have been quicker. Wait, no, that's a person right there. They're right there. Yo, do I do it? Ready? Boom. Ah! <laughs> and I'm invisible, bitch. <laughs> I just headshotted that guy. <laughs> oh, shit, son. Ooh, this is gonna be tougher. Okay. Oh, not the power fist. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like that nuclear winter feeling all over again, baby. Oh, you don't want to get this close, bro. You don't want to get this close. Ooh, 
<laughs> this is crazy. They're probably freaking out. Couple level fives. All right, I got that dude. Ooh, the nuclear winter in me came out. Look, I'm not gonna take their stuff. I just want the kills. This guy's probably shitting his pants right now. <laughs> Aria, what's good, yo? Let me read that in one sec. I'm just gonna try and rush this guy. He got the fuck out of there. That was fucking fun though, man. I missed that nuclear winter shit. Sorry, bro, bro. They were over here stealing everything. Aria, it's going good, yo. I've been having just a really good week. We got some fun stuff in here. A hundred money. The question is, do they come back quick? I just wanted to see what they had. It looks like they killed a couple people over here and then got... Got... You got any cool plans this weekend, uh, Arya? See, I don't even want any of their stuff because... Damn, this guy had 8,000 shotgun shells. Like, this is just gonna over-encumber me. See, but that was fun. Now I feel like I've accomplished the goal of this, of this world. That's real. That's real, Arya. Yeah, comfort over everything, yo. Like, whatever you gotta do to get those people out of your head. Hope this can be a nice uh, reprieve from all of that. Settler here. I need to find a place to settle down for the rest of the day. I got a saloon. He he wants no, no part of me. Not interested. Get all these little scorched running around now. What is that? Snap tail. Cool. Yeah, I'll probably just uh, mess around in here for another 10 minutes or so. We'll find someone to raid out to. I need to do a little more uh, marketing tonight. Yeah, this is the classical music from the game. This is where I, the, so the song that I put in my short film, I got from this from Fallout. It was one of the like public domain classical songs that they uh, have in here. It's not this song, but it's it's uh, one of the classical pieces. Yeah, Fallout put me on to just some of the best best classical music. Very grateful for that. like what the hell which one is this <laughs> and I can only I can't usually play the uh, regular radio station because it'll get muted in the VODs because it's all 40 songs that are still copyrighted but the most of the classical stuff is not copyrighted and never gets muted Uh, there's an app on the on, in the Google store called Fallout FM as well. There's someone in here. Oh shit! These are the people. These are the people I just killed. Is he coming for me? I'll wave at him. If you come for me, I'll wave. 
I'm gonna salute him. I left all your shit. This is the guy. Do they wanna light me up? <laughs> Should I talk to him? Hold on, hold on. Yo, I left all your stuff over there. All your stuff's still over there. I just kind of wanted to uh, kill somebody, see what it was like. Are they gonna pop me? <laughs> they want to trade. <laughs> Woo! All your stuff's still at the spot over there, y'all. Oh, is my game chat off? Fuck. Hey, uh, all your stuff's still over there. I didn't take any of your stuff. I just wanted to see what the game mode was about. Go back to your little spot. Oh, okay, you do want it. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Trying to be friendly, gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, after killing y'all, but you know. This is just sad. Did they get their stuff back? <laughs> they did not appreciate the original killing, I think. Cause what? Ah, <laughs> uh, they keep spawning over here, though. So it's just gonna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna create a, an arch enemy out of these people. I don't need any more nemeses. And I'm almost out of ammo from these fools, so maybe we'll take it back to base. They're gonna go destroy my whole camp. <laughs> they did not appreciate it. But I think they just messed up because now that I killed them again, I don't know if their old stuff is still gonna be over there. They should have went back over there and grabbed all of that stuff and then tried to kill me. And now I think they just screwed themselves. Oh, I like the first person on this. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I'm gonna need way more ammo if I'm gonna try this thing anymore. Oh, Arya, check this, uh, this is the camp. <laughs> Carnate, was that you? Damn, you asked for it, bro. No, I wanted to show y'all this, uh, this is the new survival tent they just gave all the Fallout first members. It's like, a, a Halloween Fallout, or, uh, what am I saying? Halloween tent. I like this most. This property condemned by authority of the Watoga Safety Commission, no trespassing. Got a cooking stove. And this weird ass thing. This is what I need for ammo. Is it unlimited? Yes, it is unlimited ammo in this. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. But now I'm over encumbered again. That's alright. It is kind of fun to kill people in this. We'll have to, when I'm off stream, I'll go and like organize all of these. Probably like three, probably like 30 pounds over the over encumber weight. So, yeah, this is the uh, Fallout World game mode they just added called High Risk, where it's player versus player, but you drop everything when you die. Normally, you get to keep your weapons and stuff and your armor and all that. to get some people to try out this uh the escape room's not ready yet but i have this other uh gauntlet game that i want to 
test out. I have to try and organize that soon. I know I've been saying it. weapons away, I think. Damn, that's 18 pounds. Too much. Time it is. Yeah, I think uh, I think I might find somebody to raid out to momentarily. Uh, we kind of hit our peak for this uh, this stream. Let's see. This is a cool mode, though. What they need to do is uh, they need to fix the, um, the custom world because it still crashes a lot. Last time I checked, every time I go into it, it just crashes out. After, after a few minutes actually you know what no I'm pretty sure I fixed that there was one item there was uh it was this fountain item that made it crash but I think I got rid of that if I remember let's see who's streaming right now appreciate everybody uh, sticking around for the raid hanging out during these ad breaks and whatnot too gosh it's Tina. Uh, Age of the Ring is streaming. That's funny. They're doing a different game though. Strange. Let's put, let's raid Evie Kiwi because we met her through. Um... Oh, you said raid the boys. Okay, I got you. What are they doing? I, is it? Uh, it's pretty rare, uh, Arnate, that the Age of the Ring stream plays a different game than Age of the Ring, <laughs> isn't it? Are they trying out some new stuff? Or... This is the uh, this is the gauntlet, by the way. I think I've shown this off before paths full of danger and death. Yeah, let's do it. Let's raise the Age of the Ring. Love it. Yeah, let's show some support for the comfort time. Y'all deserve your relaxing time away from, uh, <laughs> away from that modding craziness. Phasmo, that's fun. I gotta try that game again. Shit. Alright. Noises going on over here. Alright, let's go over to the close-up. Thanks for, uh, popping through this fun little stream. I just wanted to announce that we were doing the Fallout for Hope, uh, community stream team as well, so... There'll be more news on that in the coming weeks. Uh, again, uh, I'm just going to drop this for anybody who's checking out the VOD. Uh, ThreeGoodFriends.com is the name of my new production company website we just launched. We got a teaser up there for the short film. You can go on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on the Twitter and all that too. Goes a long, long way. Show some love to the Age of the Ring crew right now playing a game. What's it called? Orcs Must Die? I don't think I've ever seen this game before. Y'all, thank you so much for being here, everybody. Uh, I will be back, I'm sure this weekend at some point, I will be back. Um, maybe playing something scary. We've got to get more scary games going. All right, y'all. Love you. Thanks for being here. See you in the Discord. Stay safe. Peace.
The only person I want to get raided by is Shane. Oh yeah. The Shane raid.